Hi, this is Marishi and my channel Shuluka. Let's see what is the situation as of now and what you need to hear from me for this coming week. Leo's out there, Sun, Moon, and Venus. What do you need to hear from me? Just one more time. Alright. What do you need to hear right now, Leo's out there? The first card is the Fool card. It seems like you're taking chances with a situation and it seems like it is the right thing to do. You're seeking some kind of a justice. You don't know how things are going to go from here on. But yet, I see you very much wanting to do this no matter what. Okay? You're seeking for some kind of justice. It feels so, like the right thing to do right now. Some of you might be dealing with a Libra. Alright? Uh, there is some kind of a stagnancy which is going on within your life, but you want to uh, move away from this. Okay, you're taking your chances to get away from this, start over again. For this, you need to um, do something about it. Some of you might be ending something, okay, um, approaching, because when I see the full card, this, uh, this is all about starting over again. And along with the justice which wanted to show up, it, it tells me about ending something, okay? Taking the help of the judicial system, hmm? the court system. Some of you might be going in for a divorce because things seem to be very stagnant right now and you want to do something about it. All right, moving on. Leo's out there. What else? Six of Pentacles. There is this very uneven energy. Um very imbalanced energy there is no equal give or take one person is giving more and the other person is not even bothered to you know, give back some of you might be dealing with the Taurus energy okay uh, but you still see the potential in it you're waiting on things to happen Okay, there is a weight energy which is coming through. You're waiting. Right. You feel very much outcasted. Like you, you feel very, um, you know, out in the cold. You're not liking it. You know? And you want to literally move away from all that with a full card. Full card is card number zero. So starting over. Starting fresh, clean slate, okay? What else? Yes, it, it, it's almost like uh, you don't want to wait anymore. You have been waiting for so long. Now you're like, that's it. I'm done. I don't want to be hanging in there in, anymore. It's not serving me anymore. It's, it's not even worth it. I'm just done with it. I'm going. I'm just done, okay? Very, very uh, abrupt energy, very fast moving energy. Okay, it's shifting you. It is uh, making a shift. And you're going to take the chances, you know, you're not going to be worried about the consequences of, of this whole thing. You don't, you have no idea how it's going to turn out, but yet you just don't want to be in this limbo position anymore. You want to do something about it and you're charging forward full, full speed. Okay? You don't want to think about this anymore. Okay, some of you might be dealing with a Gemini or a Taurus energy. Leo's out there, what else? Your next card is the Six of Cups. Uh, you did share something great, okay, happy times once upon a time. Hmm? Yes. And you try to defend this for as long as you could. This connection or whatever this is about, the Six of, uh, six of Cups. And the way it fell out, while I was taking it out, it was upright. But when it fell out, it fell out like this. So it's like, it seems like it's not going anywhere. I'm just going to put it back. Some of you might be dealing with a Scorpion energy or a Leo energy. Yeah, another Leo energy. So it, it feels like you were defending this for quite some time. And nothing was going to come out, uh, nothing was about to come out of it. Again, okay? nothing was changing. It, it just, you know, felt like 
you were, you know, apart. Okay, when I spoke about the stagnancy, that's how it felt. Nothing was happening in there. All right, moving on. Leo's under. What else? Yeah, six of pentacles. Like I said, there is nothing much. You know, there is no equal given, uh, give and take. Only one person was trying to make it work, and the other person wasn't even bothered. Yeah. Your next card is this one, Queen of Swords. You feel like it's time to do something about this. You know, it's uh, you're making that decision. Like finally, you are having that um, change in perspective that I shouldn't be uh, giving in too much when I'm not receiving much back or anything back. You know, if it's not working, it's not working. I shouldn't be hanging, in, uh, hanging on to something which is, you know, which has been dead for some time. So that is why you're making that choice making that decision that it's about time justice needs to be served okay and it's about time to you know take a leap of faith okay start over you know with your life you know turning your back from this from this okay which which is stuck you know, you're turning, the fool is turning his back from this energy, you know, the memories as well, which you were trying to protect for as long as you could. Now you're like, ah, oh, it's just wasting my life. Why am I doing this to myself? I got to cut off and move on with my life. All right. Some of you might be dealing with a Virgo or a Libra person. I'm speaking to the Leo. All right. Uh, like I said, you were trying to juggle this for as long as you could. Now you're making the decision to cut yourself off. To seek that justice. What else? Some of you might be dealing with a Capricorn person. Yeah. The way it came out is an Ace of Cups. Okay. You were, you know, very much anxious about this. You know, about what you had, you know, once upon a time, when that six of cups was there, like, you know, you were together, you had this once upon a time, but you, you know, the reason for you to sit and contemplate for as long, you know, you were trying to hang in there, is because you were wondering, you know, is this over? You know, is, is the cup empty? You know, you were just contemplating... Uh, it was full once upon a time when we were together, but now you're just looking back. What happened to this? Is it over? Because five of cups, you know, you focus now on the spilled milk. Did everything we had, is it over? Has it drained out? Is it time for me to, you know, stop focusing on that? You know, looking back into the past, what we had once upon a time. Moving on. Leo's out there. What else? Your next card is this one. Okay. You're being, um, see, three cards which wanted to, you know, be brought to my attention. Which is the temperance, the sun. So there is this realization which is coming through. You know? The clouds is, um, you know, opening up or moving aside and the sun is coming through. You are understanding the reality of the things between what you, what you are having, like how things are. There is this awareness happening. Even when uh, you're looking at this temperance, temperance is asking you to, you know, balance things out. Have a clear head. Hmm? If you look at this angel, she has, she or he has one feet on the ground and the other feet in the water. It speaks about um, emotions, keeping it in check, you know, having a clear perspective, 
not be clouded by you know the past and present you need to have a clear perspective how things are and how things were you know there is a border you cannot keep you know uh, going back and forth thinking what if what could have been all that you have to focus on your present even the high priestess is speaking about you being uh, you know you your intuitive yourself your higher self is guiding you is telling you how things are you just have to listen you just have to listen that's all you need to do you're abundant by yourself whatsoever how much of things are fucked up right now you know there might have been a time when you thought you know uh you need to have this person you need this to work whatsoever okay uh, you know i need this person in my life to complete me you need to realize you are the empress sorry wherever the car is you are the empress you are abundant by yourself you don't need anybody okay you complete by yourself leos are there what else Yeah, it seems like you are in this aggressive mode to make things just you know you just not waiting anymore. You're tired waiting. Your next card is this one. Knight of Cups. That's interesting. That's interesting. It seems like there is somebody else who's approaching you. Hmm? Yes. a connection who's approaching you pretty much on the outskirts you know waiting upon you waiting on you to see uh you know if you would be interested in them or not there is somebody there a knight in shining armor who's focused on the queen but you're deciding before you take your chances before you move into this next um uh, this person who's interested in you you need to cut off the ties from your past and you uh, you want to release yourself from the past and free yourself before you know you you check this person out you start to uh commit yourself to something new because this is a new beginning with a full on top that is why you're rushing The reason you're rushing is because somebody is there. Somebody new is waiting. Who has to offer who wants to offer something to you? Not bad. Some of you might be dealing with a Taurus or a Gemini or an Aquarius or a Pisces. Leo's are there what else? The next card is a Queen of Wands. You feel like you're in power. Okay you're in charge you're very determined right now like everything is uh you feel very 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 strong somehow like you can have it all whatever you want and this person really wants to offer you something They they have their eyes on you, and you still focus on the past. There is a luggage which you're carrying on your back, okay, which is weighing you down. That is why you are very much wanting to cut that off with the justice which popped out earlier in the very beginning. Okay, you want to do the right thing. Some of you might be dealing with a Pisces or an Aries, or maybe a Sagittarius. Queen of Pentacles. Three queens. I feel you as a very strong person right now. Very intellectual person, very nurturing person. Okay, very pretty much in power. You know your worth. You know how deserving you are. Very mature individual. 
So what are you going to be dealing with a Sagittarius or a Capricorn? Leos, your vibe right now is beautiful. Okay? You passed all the bullshit which was, you know, literally shackling you down. You're breaking free from all that. Okay? You have literally decided it is time to look away. Okay? To explore what is out there. You're seeking out new beginnings in your life. Moving on. Yes, you, you are seeking this Hierophant, which speaks about structures. Some of you might be dealing, dealing with the Taurus energy. You want things to um, have this formal structure. You're not interested in, in things which is like, uh, like, you know, time pass. No, you want things to be solid. Like I said, you, you're coming through as a very mature individual right now. You want something solid in your life, which is worth it. Okay? You don't want to put in the uh, time and energy into something which is like, you know, you don't know where it's going. Dealing with the Taurus energy, Leo. Uh, what else? What else, Leo? Your next card is this one. Things are picking up. Okay? Uh, yeah. It was low previously. Now it's like it's 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 literally picking up the speed. You might be getting communication. There is movement in your life right now. If it was stagnant before, uh, that is that chain is breaking up. There is a shift. Okay, a quick shift in your life. Things are moving fast. And it seems like you might be the one who's initiating it. There's somebody who's literally wanting to come through. New beginnings which is going to come through. This might be a person whom you know, like, yeah, somebody whom you know, you're familiar with. Could be a friend as well, you know. Some of you might be traveling to meet their family, friends, just saying. Again, a Sagittarius energy. This will start off very slowly. You know, it is coming quick, but you, you will want to take your time with where it is going. You will take your chances, but you're not going to jump into conclusions like this is it. No, you want to be sure that this is the one. Okay, Leo, what else? Your next card is the Knight of Wands. You're very passionate about this. Yeah, whatever is coming through, you are excited about it. Okay? You're liking it. But then there is a shadow from the past which is, you know, tugging at you, making you wonder. Okay? Making you wonder about this newness which is coming through, whether it will be the same as before. Yes, Three of Cups. I also want to say, um, Leo's, maybe there is more people who is interested in you than, okay, there is more than one person who is interested in you. Who has their eyes on you? Okay? It's, it's just, you know, all of a sudden, everybody's focus is on you. We've got three queens as well. 
Like everybody just wants to, yeah, come forth and share their cup with you. I don't know. That's interesting. Some of you might be dealing with a Cancerian person. There's a multiple energy in your story. A new energy, like, yeah. They are all into you. Alright, Leo. Seems like you are in the spotlight. Okay, what is your last card, Leo? What is your last card? Also, I always say, when I spoke about the multiple energy, maybe you're well aware of the person who's coming forth towards you. Okay, he showed you the Knight of Swords earlier when he came through. Knight of Swords, Knight of Cups, and now the Knight of Rods. Maybe this person who's offering you the cup, uh, might be offering his cup to multiple people. You know, he, he's the one who's the kind of Casanova. Okay, so be aware of that. Or maybe you know, you know what you're dealing with. And you have to watch your back with this person because this person has a reputation. Okay, it might not be that so many people are approaching you. The person who is approaching you might be uh, somebody who is uh, very popular. Okay, he has many people, uh, many uh, interest. Okay, so you are a little worried about his or her status. Hmm? So if that makes sense, let me know. Somehow you have to be cautious about the person who's approaching you. Even though you are uh, liking the attention, um, somehow you need to be cautious about them and what they have to offer. Whether it's genuine and strong. Because I, I spoke about the Hierophant. You want something which is, you know, um, for the long term. Your last card is a seven of pentacles. It seems like you are just waiting to see, you know, how this person is going to perform. Like, you know, you're just trying to um, assess them and see how far this will go. Five swords. There is an energy about you don't want to waste your time on this person. So this could be a future future reading or it could be uh, something which is going on in your life right now and you might be well aware of this person who's coming through and uh, you feel like, uh, let's see how, how far this will go. You know, what is their actual uh, um, intention? Okay. What do they want from me? So you're waiting. You're waiting to see how far they will go. How much they have to offer. Because it almost feels like it's too good to be true. Okay, I'm looking at uh, seven. Okay. Uh, it feels like it's too good to be true, but they are interested in you. Just saying, okay, whatever. It's coming out for me. Um, yeah. It feels you're very defensive right now. With whatever people are, want to offer you, you're questioning it. You have second thoughts about it. Very defensive energy. Alright? 
So what I'm going to do is, I'm only going to clarify this Knight of Cups and we'll wrap it up. Okay, so maybe we'll get his intention, his or her intention. Yours are hurting, so. He is an emperor. Okay? Emperor is somebody who is very serious. Who knows exactly what they want. So, uh, might be a little mature. Okay? In age. In, uh, he might be holding, he or she might be holding a, a authoritative position. Very well established. Older to you by age. So well experienced. Alright. So this knight is somebody who is uh, mature. The next card is this one. Justice. Ooh. This person really wants to turn things around for you. He feels like he or she don't go with the gender, okay? He or she feels like it is the right thing to do. Like they are into this. They want this. So, um, the, the Knight of Cups, whatever they want to offer, is serious. Some of you might be dealing with a Libra. And the Wheel of Fortune. Give me one last card for the Knight of Cups. Five Wands. There is so much conflicts. Okay? Uh, there is so much hiccups. It's not easy for him or her to just give it to you like that and say, you know, this is what I want. Let's do this. Because you are very defensive. You're pushing them off. It's just not making it easy for them to approach you. Maybe they have to fight off other people. Okay? There's so much conflicts around, you know, them wanting to uh, put it forth. Like, this is, a, this is what I want. This is what I feel for you. This is, you know, what I wish would happen between the two of us. Okay? But this person is trying to bring things back on track. You know, to straighten up things. Even if there is so much conflict, so much opposing energy, even from yourself or others. Okay? They want to make things right with the justice card as well. They want to take charge of the situation with you. Okay? Even if it takes time, they are willing to make it happen. Because we are looking at the emperor and the chariot. They want this to happen. Okay? You are in a different level, seeing everything with this uh, questionable eyes. Just because you have passed, you are just getting out of something and you are moving into something new. So you will question everything because your history uh, wasn't the best, okay? So you don't, it's, it's, the, uh, it's like the cat who has uh, fallen into boiling water. Well, how does it fall into boiling water? <laughs> yeah? um, it would be always scared to, you know, even with normal water, it would be scared because it always has that memory of the boiling water, how it burned it the first time. So just any water, any cold water as well is going to be scared. So even if a genuine offer is coming through, you're going to think, you know, you're going to compare it with the past. A person who has screwed your life. You're going to compare everybody to that person. So that's it for now. This is Marishi Yuma Shamshuloka. Until next week. Bye-bye.